Hey YouTube, M6CB, back again with another video. Sorry it's been a while, it's probably been about four weeks now uh, since I last did my uh, last video. Uh, we've been having the kitchen done and I'm sat in it right, uh, right now, so we've been loads of building work, drilling, screwing, absolutely all sorts of stuff going on. So it's been a bit hard to, uh, to film anything. And I've been awaiting my brand new radio, which is the Vero, let me get this right, the Vero VRN7500. Now this is an app controlled radio. It's the first that I know of that's on the market. It's a dual band, uh, two meter 70 cent radio. Um, it's got Bluetooth and everything on it. So uh, as I say, this is gonna be an unboxing video. Uh, stay tuned um, for the full review, which will be in a couple of days. Uh, probably do a power test video. And I'll also do a video on how to set this up on your phone. Uh, obviously you use this with an app, so I'll be doing a video on that as well. But this video is mainly just an unboxing. Let's let's get it open, let's have a look at it, have a quick look at the build quality, that kind of thing, uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, without further ado, let's begin. So let's have a look, let's open the box and see what we get. So, as I say, I've been really excited for this radio and I haven't done any research whatsoever because I wanted it to be a complete and utter surprise for both me and you. Um, so, as I say, we'll have a good look round it. Uh, this is just mainly a first impression sort of unboxing. So, uh, yeah, very well done on the packaging. So, let's have a look. Let me get into this. So here we go, a uh, bit of packaging there, file it to the side, um, and this is the radio, so I'll move this packaging out of the way. So yeah, this is the box, uh, VHF, UHF, FM transceiver, uh, the VRN7500, uh, there's the website where you can get it uh, from, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I think this currently retails for $200. So, um, you know, for an app control radio, I think it's the first of its kind. Uh, I don't know of any other radios that do this uh, as of yet. So this, this seems to be quite, uh, you know, seems to be a first. So uh, yeah, really, really excited. Nice uh, recycled packaging, um, really, really nice. Uh, so let's have a quick look inside. So here we go, let's have a look. So as you can see, this is what we get. Um, the fast operating manual. Um, how to connect the VRN7500 with a cell phone for an Android Android user uh, and an iOS user. So this will work for both Android and Apple. Um, Bluetooth, so it looks like it's got a, a Bluetooth in it as well. So this could quite, I don't know yet, but I think this could possibly work within your car. You know, if you have a car stereo system, you can connect via Bluetooth to this radio. And I'm guessing it'll uh, use your car's Bluetooth technology um, to use a radio. So I don't know as yet, but if that's possible, that could be really, really useful. Um, so there we go. Create uh, internet channel for Android. As I say, I won't go, uh, I, I, as I say, this is the first time I've ever opened the box. So I don't really know much about it at the moment. Uh, obviously pairing. So that's for the Bluetooth. Um, so there we go. So there's a nice little uh, quick start guide there. So what else do we get? We get a mounting bracket. Uh, very nice, um, seems very sturdy. So what do we have in here? Right, I don't know what this is. This is quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting thing. Looks like a push to talk of some sort. Oh, it's flashing. So maybe this is uh, a push to talk button that you can wrap around your steering wheel maybe, um, and then push to talk. So as I say, uh, as I say, I've not <laughs> no idea at this point what all this is for. Stay tuned for for more videos. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. And as I say, give me a couple of days uh, to familiarise myself with it, um, and then I'll do a full review. But as I say, this is just an, an unboxing. So let's have a look what we've got here. So this is the microphone. First impressions, very, very chunky. Very, very, uh, seems very hard wearing. Really nice feel to it. Um, as I say, I don't know what these, these symbols are and everything yet. 
Um, it's all completely new to me. Uh, notice there isn't a, unless it's it's in the box somewhere, you know, like a, a clip for it to hang on something, maybe it's in the box. But yeah, really nice PTT, nice orange round that as well. Uh, you've got an up and down button, an OK and an M button for probably M memory or VFO mode. Uh, RJ45 connector. So yeah, pretty standard stuff. But it really feels nice on first impression. Really, really good. I like that. So let's just move that to the side a little bit and get on to the main event. So yeah, this is the main event, so to speak. So there you go. Right, re first impressions. As I say, this is a first impression video. Really nice weight, and this is die cast uh, metal. This is really, really nice, uh, solid. Just like you get with your Yesus, you've got a nice cooling fan on the back, um, and then it looks like you've got your SO239 connector. So yeah, really, really good. Um, power cable with the fuses on it. Uh, it looks like the power cable's in the box. We'll have a look in a second. Uh, obviously, you put your microphone in the front, uh, power on and off. Uh, power TXRX. I am super impressed so far. This this has a really nice weight to it. I mean, you can you can hear it on the on the table there. Um, so really, really nice. Obviously, you don't get a display on this at all. I'm guessing with it being app controlled, you get most of your information via the via the app. Uh, but on first impressions, I'd say this is going to be an amazing radio for your car because obviously you've you've nothing to. It's so small. Um, you could tuck that anywhere in in your car with a mounting bracket. Out of sight, out of mind, you probably can get an extension cable for the microphone um, and then obviously use your Bluetooth in your car by, by uh, the way it looks so far. Um, but yeah, nice heat sink on the back. As I say, the whole body is, is um, die cast metal, so it's, it's really, really well built. Uh, Vero Telecom, as I say, I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this. I think it's about $200 uh, dollars at the moment, um, as I say. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. As I say, this I'm really, really excited with this because it's the first that I know of um, radio that can be controlled by, via the uh, via an app. So really, really nice. So let's see what else you get in the box. So we have some mounting screws and some more fuses. Um, some uh, there's there's the microphone clip. So it does come in the box. So there you go. It must go on there so you can hook it on something. Uh, really good. As I say, I don't know what this is yet, uh, but it looks to be some sort of PTT button. Um, and I'm guessing you can change the batteries in it somehow. Uh, as I say, it did flash when I turned it on, when I pressed the button. So uh, as I say, stay tuned for, for future videos and we'll get really in detail with the, uh, with the review. Uh, so that's everything in the box. So there's the power cable. Um, nothing obviously um, unusual there. Um, as I say, you get a couple of sticky pads, the microphone clip, uh, and some mounting screws and some fuses. Now, I just thought this would have been the, fit, the quick start guide, uh, but this looks like this is like what you basically get. Um, you don't get any other manual with it. Um, so yeah, good job. And I'll get it figured out. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it can't be too difficult, but um, stay tuned for the for the future videos. Like I say, I'll be doing uh, quite a few videos on it and a full written review with detailed pictures and things. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Uh, as I say, the first thing I really, really notice is the build quality is, is standing out for me at the moment. It's really, really nice. Uh, it feels solid and all this uh, is all metal as well. That's not that's not just a sticker. That is a full uh, die cast part of the radio. So that's a really, really nice uh, uh, logo on there. And as I say, really, really, really nice quality. So yeah, but anyway, we won't go, go into it in, into it now. Well, give me a couple of days and I'll, I'll have all this sort of stuff figured out. We'll get it on air and, and see, you know, see how it does. Uh, I'll probably take it to the Jedi's G0 HIJ. So big shout to you, Wayne, if you're listening. Uh, take it. I know he's, he's he's been eager to have a look at this as well. So uh, Wayne's really excited. Um, I'm sure some of the older hams may be worrying about how easy this is to use. With, with the technology being, you know, Bluetooth with your phone and all that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I'll walk you all the way through it. So uh, we'll we'll figure it out together. Um, but yeah, really, really good. I hope you found uh, the video useful. As I say, stay tuned for, for future videos. So thank you very much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed that. As I say, this is just as exciting for me as it is for you. It's a completely new experience to me. Uh, I didn't know you could get radios that are app controlled with your mobile phone until now. Uh, as I say, I'll be doing loads of videos and getting really stuck into this radio. Uh, so if you're new to this sort of concept, 
Uh, stay tuned, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and put the bell notification on so you don't miss anything uh, when I next upload. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video as much as I have filming it. And until the next time, I've been M6CB and you've been very kind to watch. 73.